Tobin and Leroy here with you. 560 WQAM. Let's get to our headlines brought to you by the new Palmetto Ford Truck Super Center. Why buy your truck at a car store? Palmetto Ford. Leroy is muted. Try again, we know Leroy. trucks. There you go. Uh, the Panthers one win away from the Stanley Cup game four tomorrow night. You can hear that right here on 560 WQAM. Eight o'clock is your puck drop. And uh, the Cats will try and close this puppy out. Brooms in hand. I believe uh, Brooms made it across customs for uh, for their flight. So ready to, to finish this thing off. They win last night 4-3. And um, showed no mercy in that second period. It was delicious. Loved it. You got Paul Maurice from last night? Yes, I do indeed. Love Paul Maurice. Glasses. Cool customer. Indeed. Has it together. Panthers. Well, you have to have a plan, and that plan can't come in yesterday. Right? You know, you very careful about walking into the room as a coach with something they haven't heard before at this time of the year. So we would have talked about our recovery post game and they've done that not just in the uh, playoffs in the regular season, we have a plan and I'm looking forward to going to bed. <laughs> so I'm going to keep my focus on that. Enjoy the heck out of it. Fortunate enough to wake up. I got a plan for tomorrow. And then I'm not looking anywhere past that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like he's going to get after it with the celebration. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be like shirtless. Um, <laughs> tell him. Down. What's going on there? Hey, Roy. Not hey, man, what are you doing? And hey, what are you doing over there, Frog Boy? You oh, confused man. based on your shirt today? I am confused as to why Leroy isn't participating in Vice Shirt Friday. Yeah, what's going on with that? It's Vice I Shirt am Friday. Where, where, where's your Vice Shirt? You're wearing a Michigan shirt? This yeah. Leroy, a greedy year. He's going to have a Leroy, Panthers championship dude. and a Michigan championship. Greedy, yeah. greedy, greedy, greedy Leroy. And uh, I was going, I was going to wear my Panther sweatshirt. It was too hot. That's mm. fair. The uh, so the cats. We'll get back into them in just a bit. But there was a lot of Dolphins news yesterday. Oh. A lot of Dolphins news oh. yesterday. All right, so first off, the Dolphins signed Calais Campbell. I'm happy to be here. This is a dream come true to be able to play in my hometown where I went to college, and I'm a giant. (laughs) Oh, don't forget that. I'm so excited that the P.J. Tucker Doc Rivers bit now can (laughs) extend out to the Calais Campbell bit. It's a giant. Uh, yeah, very excited. Very excited about this move. I love Calais Campbell. You know, in my Jags era, uh, this my two favorite players were Jalen Ramsey and Calais Campbell, and now they're both on the Dolphins. So he, we- he will, um, you know what he'll do um, that Christian Wilkins didn't do as much of? Mm-hmm. Take up space, right? Like Christian Wilkins was lightning fast, played yep. all over the field. But Calais Campbell is going to take up space. So you got him and Sealer pushing up the middle. That means those outside guys should get pretty good numbers, whoever's out there. Yeah. I mean, and he had pretty good numbers for his age. I mean, he's going to be 38 before the season. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. But he was six and a half sacks last year. He was one of the most effective pass rushers even for the Falcons. Um, he's a moose. He's like yeah. six, eight. He's you know what you can't? You know what you, you know what you can't, Coach? Hmm? Six, eight, three hundred. Yeah, it's crazy. He's, he's <laughs> you can't coach that. He's an absolute terror. He's a it's monster. A I mean, like, and he's been doing this. He's durable. Um, you know, he's been. That, he's, it, he, it's a big. It, it, and and guess what? Um, he's one of those guys at this stage in his career can sign wherever he wants to. Yep. Right, and so it's really cool that he decided to come down here. I hadn't even considered him when I was thinking of. What guys could the Dolphins sign to shore up that that uh, D line until mm-hmm. everybody gets there? And, and I'll, basically, I'll what they did was they they signed a guy that is going to, you know, throughout the year is going to be part of a rotation to keep yep. them fresh. As uh, Anthony and he's reunited with Anthony Weaver, so knows him, knows the system, yep. 
And then, yep. um, you know, as Anthony Weaver said, the second tsunami. And this is your second tsunami wave right here. Mm. Moose. Hey, he doesn't move like a tsunami, though, right? I mean, like a big wave. He's, what do you tall. Think? He's as tall as a tsunami. Calais, what do you think about being part of the tsunami defense? Wave two, baby. Wave two. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's cool. I, no, I mean, like, it's 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 a really cool story, and I'm excited about yes. it. Also, from old to young, Chop Robinson signed his rookie mm. deal with the Dolphins yesterday, so the entire draft class is signed up. All right, cool for uh, for Chop Robinson. And the only person um, left is to uh, and guess what? Yep. Let me ask you a question, and I'm going to ask this, and I know what the answer, but but I just to to get some bearing on you know what's going to happen mm -hmm. you want trevor lawrence or tua i want tua okay i want tua trevor just got 275 he got five years 275 million two million 200 million guaranteed 142 at signing uh his average is 55 million which is tops with joe Burrow. see so and and it might even be bigger. So he gets his deal. Obviously, I'm sure two his representatives look at that because two his numbers were better than Trevor Lawrence's last year. Uh, they quite frankly were better the year before that, which was Trevor Lawrence's best year, right. which was his second year. And Tua matched him basically in stats other than yards and missed four games. But touchdowns, samesies, Tua had a better rating that year. Two has been a better quarterback than Trevor Lawrence. Yes. Two has better been a better better quarterback than Trevor Lawrence. And Trevor Lawrence came in with all the promise that Tua did, if yep. not more, of a can't miss guy. And really all he's got is six six. And he has a playoff win, but epic collapse by the Chargers. His division that he won that year, garbage. Garbage AFC South. Second team, second place team had seven wins. He had two teams with seven seven game losing streaks in that in that uh, division. Um, and look, good for him. I'm not hating on Trevor Lawrence getting his money. He deserves his money. I just think that if he gets his money and the Dolphins are quibbling over Tua, it's stupid. I mean, I don't know what we're doing. It's not like, going to get cheaper. And, and Tua and Tua had the money quote when I was on vacation, which was the market is the market. Like I don't All know right. what we're doing here. <laughs> like. You guys didn't want – okay, the Dolphins, I understand them not paying him last year on an early jump because he was coming off a concussion. I understand not wanting to invest long-term. He played the entire season. He proved himself. And you've just seen two quarterbacks who he is at the least on par with, but in my opinion better than, get money in this market that he should get. And the idea that there's even a question about this is crazy. Here they're falling for it again. The Dolphins are falling for it again. That is that you wait and wait and wait till it costs you so much to re-sign a player, right? And and it happened with Christian Wilkins, and now it's happening with Tua, but you can't just let Tua go. So it's gonna be crazy. It's just it look. I, I don't understand it. I, I I'm 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 just I'm kind of under I'm, I'm not really understanding the controversy behind this with with well because with, two months ago you could have gotten him for 45 50 million a year well, maybe and yeah 150 million to sign but it's it it is what it is like now like you don't right. if you guys thought that you were gonna get this deal and it was gonna be and and you were gonna get some sweetheart Daniel Jones contract with you're not he's better he's better and he's better than this guy. I'm sorry. Why? Because he's six six, and he looks like he can play a quarterback in a movie. So did Ryan Leaf. Tell me, I, I want. What does he have over Tua? Turns the ball over a bunch. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. And you want to know something? Not the favorite in that division. Not, Not as long as CJ Stroud is there. Not pick, nobody's picking him. Does it matter? Eh. Not, not to the Jags. I think the Jags are all fired up. It hasn't been drama for the Jags. It hasn't even been a thing that they thought of. I don't get it. Two words. What? Playoff victory. Oh, oh dude. Playoff Come on. Victory. So, so let me ask. Can I, Marcos? Mobility. Third word. 
Could you imagine? Marcos, have you even looked at Trevor Lawrence's numbers? Or are you just going to go with those two stats? The one number that matters. Wins. So fewer than Tua, you mean in his career? Against good teams. Wins Uh, against good teams. He gets to play. He gets to play in a cupcake division that already got overtaken, and this guy was supposed to be the savior for. You guys know I've been a Trevor Lawrence hater. I had to wear his stupid wig and jersey. You know, Fred Taylor mocked me. Looked good. I look terrible. <laughs> but I, I, I just, it's just strange, dude. I, I don't understand what, what this, uh, this idea. Like the Dolphins are going to get some kind of deal on Tua, and he voiced his frustration about it. Uh, you know. <laughs> What do you mean? Eh. What do you mean? Eh. He didn't, he's not. He's making a mistake, dude. He's not going full. You either go full. Uh, that was too. Like that was as much of Tua making a stink as Tua can make a stink. I can. Right. I don't know what to tell you. Like him telling you, yeah. telling you, I've been not pleased with the negotiations, yeah. or I guess the word was he said antsy, and that he can't separate business and personal. Yep. And the market is the market. And the market is the market, and he's right. Yeah, but he's got to go full. I'm talking. Remember when Kyler Murray unfollowed? He's got to go full. Like, nah, I'm not Xavier Howard. He's got to go take a leak on Chris Greer's car in the parking <laughs> lot. Know, he's got to gotta just maybe skip OTAs to do something crazy like ayahuasca in another country. He's got to really make a statement of some sort if he really wants the Dolphins to react. If not, I think they're just gonna wait and see. And you know what? If you think he deserves sixty million. I think he deserves $60 million if he does A and B. And that is show a little bit more mobility and Dude, get me a really, playoff. Wait, can I just say this? Playoff victory. If you're basing the success of your quarterback on mobility, yeah. you're an idiot. Why? All the best Some of the best. Well, let me ask, no, no, no. Some of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play the game did not have more ever business. play the game. Let me ask you this, dude. Yes. There's, no, there's no shame in losing yes. to Patrick Mahomes like Trevor Lawrence did after he won that playoff victory. Yep. One of the reasons why Joe Burrow gets the benefit of the doubt is Joe Burrow's been to a uh, a Super Bowl and he beat Patrick Mahomes. Right? He's one yeah. of the, he's the only active guy to do it in a playoff game. Very true. So. I get why he gets to be the number one quarterback average, Joe Butro, even though he's got some durability questions or whatever. Fine, I'll give it to Joe Butro. This guy, you beat Justin Wait. Herbert, dude. Justin Herbert's a six hey. quarterback. Here's the other thing. Miraculous comeback. Here's the other thing. Uh, Joe Burrow, not mobile. Less mobile yeah. than Tua. He has less mobile than Tua. He has a horrible old He's line. less <laughs> mobile than Tua. He's not less mobile than Tua. Yes, he is. I'm looking up the stats. Dude, do you watch football? You got a peanut brittle stats. knee. The reason why he's getting pounded is because he's not mobile. All right. He definitely got hit a lot his first couple of seasons. Because he's not mobile. Get rid of the ball why, faster. Yeah. Tua does. Tua does get rid of the ball fast. All right, go. go. One of the good right, things go. I like about him. So, you know? so you're going you to consider <laughs> mobility based <laughs> on <laughs> rushing yards, right? He's going to have less m- rushing yards because he got sacked so much. There's, oh, look, there's I don't need rushing yards. I need key moments, key first down. Having down, a first round play. Extending a play. If, if, if so he was going to build a the- mobile? Mobile enough, yes. Okay, but here's the He's thing, dude. Like, if you're so happy about Trevor Lawrence having a playoff win, yeah. how come they couldn't build off that momentum? They lost the division to a rookie. Oh, he's got a good rookie. I'm just telling <laughs> you, though, but that's what happened. That's Everybody said this guy was God's gift of football, and he coughed up his division in a year. CJ Stroud, good. Take a break. Back after this. Welcome back, everybody. Tobin and Leroy here with U560 WQAM. Leroy, can you get a weather update from the Demesman and Dover Law can, Firm? Your accent attorneys.com, free consultation 24 7, call at 866-954. More. Well, we still got some of the same cycle, so it's going to be raining on and off. For at least another day or so. Uh, But good news. Tobin, I'll be damned. The sun's out by my house. Not that, dude. Huh? How How about about that? that? Still mostly cloudy, though. Uh, We got a breeze coming out of the winds coming out of the south. uh, At about 10 to 15 miles an hour. And that's where all that uh, moisture is coming up from. Uh, and uh, other than that, rain, soggy, probably most of the area in South Florida is under a flood watch because it almost seems like hurricane rain. Like you'll get like 10 minutes 
of hard rain and then like a, just a light spritzer for the rest of the time. So uh, be careful out there. It's Friday. So there's going to be even more reason to want to get the hell out of work and start enjoying your weekend. But uh, just be careful out there. All even right. the leaves say it's not as hot, though. Yeah, it's probably not going to get up to 90 degrees. And it's been mid low 90s for the last couple of weeks before all this rain got here. So that's the one good thing. It's a little bit cooler. Can we like ban Marcos from like the private chat? He's so annoying, dude. Apologize, Leroy. What? You said Joe Burrow Burrow. wasn't Burrow. Wasn't a better running quarterback than Tua. And boy, were you wrong. (laughs) Wrong, wrong, wrong. He, in one less game than Tua, might I add, because I already hear the excuse train piling on all the coal to make their way down the tracks. Mm -hmm. 300 more rushing yards, four more rushing TDs. This is career? Career. Okay. He has what now? 300 more rushing yards. Uh Uh-huh. Four more rushing TDs. Wow. Dwarf. 13 less Four. fumbles. Four is a real, uh, it's, it's lopsided. Double digits. Four. Double. What a, a regular Lamar Jackson, this Joe Boudreau. Let's go, this guy's QB sneaking up and down the field. Those don't count. That's a touchdown merchant. How's that going to happen? Here's the, here's the other thing. And, and here's where your numbers are flawed. What? I'm going to tell All you. All the numbers? Why. I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell you why. All okay, right. you can't lead the league in rushing and get rid of the football quicker than anybody in the NFL. You understand? He never runs because he never has the football. He gets rid of it. Joe Burrow pats the ball for an hour and a half, thus forcing him into situations where he has to run. He's not a runner. No, he's not a runner, and I don't want Tua to be a runner. But you you understand you can't have it. Wait, wait. here, here. all the Marcos, 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 answer this question for me, football guru. Thank you. How can you lead the league and get rid of the ball quicker than anybody and run the football? Well, I don't need you to lead the league and get in the ball off quick. Yes, you do. Why is that cool? Those are the most successful quarterbacks. Those, Those are the most successful quarterback. Quarterbacks. You know how hard it is to be accurate and get rid of the ball that quick. That's a skill in itself. All of this stuff, but like all this stuff, we're like we're quibbling over dumb stuff. Like you're right. gonna sit here and you're gonna say, if like, it's dumb, why did he transform his body? Who? Uh, Tua. I think Tua does want to add some mobility to all it. All right, but so it can't the, be that dumb. But here's the thing oh. that's silly about it: like nobody is gonna think about Joe Burrow or Trevor Lawrence and be like, "Oh my God, their mobility." That's what really makes them different. Like, there's only like no. two quarterbacks or three quarterbacks where you're like, "Oh my God, that's like that's a that's a weapon." And it's like Lamar Jackson, Josh yeah. Allen are the ones where you're like, "I, I worry about them running." And Patrick Mahomes can because he's the best at everything. He's not even fun in the conversation. That's so, thing, though. I don't want people to game plan for two a speed. I want them to forget about. I'm it. just letting you know, dude, that this this quarterback that just got 55 million dollars yesterday has yeah. not proven anything more than Tua. His numbers aren't better than Tua. He's not better than Tua. He just looks like more of a quarterback than Tua, Playoff just victory. literally by physicality and stature. But it, but dude, it was a, but it's like the lowest of low playoff games. Like it was, it wasn't even you on, based on your based based on based on what they you're had saying. that playoff game on Ion Network. Hey, yeah. hey, based on based on what you're saying, yep. right? Don't that means um, Brad Johnson is a bigger better quarterback than Dan Marino. Has Brad Johnson won more playoff games? He won, he a, won Super a Super Bowl. Bowl. I understand. He won a Super Bowl. I understand. And he know, and he told Leroy what purple meant. <laughs> Good guy, he is a good guy. He is a good guy. Welcome no, in he, is. he is. He really he, is. But like, I just think it's it's a strange you, thing you're, that the, you're, oh. you're narrowing you're narrowing down abilities based on a stat that you can't control yourself. I just think that the idea you you look at Trevor Lawrence's numbers last year, they weren't better than Tua's. The year before that, they were basically the exact same with Tua missing a quarter of the season. He turns the football over to uh, from a, from a fumble standpoint. That's a big problem for him. And he plays in a weak ass division. Tua plays in a much better division than Trevor Lawrence does. And the one year that he won the division, I mean, like it was, it was like a Mickey Mouse division title. Congratulations on having a big comeback against Justin Herbert. Like, like everybody beats Justin Herbert. That's what they do. This thing. 
That's his thing. His thing is blowing stuff. That's what Justin Herbert does. Thus and far, yet yeah. nobody's had any questions about paying Justin Herbert, paying Trevor Lawrence. Everybody applauded Jared Goff. I don't really understand the controversy with Tua. Uh, if you want to go durability, this is the NFL, dude. Like Joe Burrow has knee ligaments made out of spaghetti. The crazy thing is, is that Joe Burrow has missed a lot of time. Yeah. He's and nobody is worried game. about giving him the money. He missed one more game. But nobody football. questions it. That's the point. What? Though, made the like, Super that's, Bowl, that's the though. point. He made one He made one more. He made, Having missed Lamar, one less game. Lamar Jackson misses a lot of time. Like, the only it, – it, it's, it's like betting on durability in the NFL is crazy to me. Durability here's what, I, here's what I hate about the Tua argument. The arguments that people have against Tua, they excuse every other quarterback in the league. So if you want to talk about durability – Go look at how many games two has missed versus all the other guys you paid, right? Hell, a guy just got a hundred plus million dollars guaranteed, and he tore his Achilles last year. But we ain't worried about his durability. You see what I'm saying? So you, if you don't want to pay Tua, you use these things that only apply to Tua. Like, we're only using durability to apply it to it. If I say, hey, Lamar Jackson missed a lot of time, too. Oh, but he did this. He did this. He did this. Okay, then don't use that for Tua. Right? Mm -hmm. And that's what we do. So it, the, the argument is not whether Tua is mobile or not. It's just something that you can tag to him that he doesn't really do to say why we won't pay him. Even though being a mobile quarterback is not a determining factor on how good of a quarterback you're going to be. Tua's got better hair now than Trevor Lawrence, too. You see that hair that Tua's mm. got? Way better. Yeah. If I if I gave a buzz cut to Trevor Lawrence, you'd never think twice about him. True. Trust me. Herbert cut You think hair. he was a McCown. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, dude. If you took if, if, I, if I took a buzz cut to Trevor Lawrence, you'd think he was a McCown. That's what that, that, that that's it. He's just packaging. That's all it, that's all it is. Yeah, this is not good. What? I'm looking at a picture of him without long hair. Oh, that face? Yeah. He looks like that's the a big face, the, dude. The fourth Manning. <laughs> <laughs> Take a break. Take a fancy's next.